Zombie Survival, yes please. Valve, score. 2008 saw a Valve release of a survival horror game based in, or at least paying homage to Pennsylvania, and wittily titled Left for Dead. Going to the hospital. You are one of four survivors in a land of zombies. Shoot, pipe bomb, and melee your way to the safe house in a grand effort of being rescued. Each campaign is broken down into five chapters, except for Crash Course, which has two chapters. At the end of each chapter, you're given a chance to relax and load up on weapons and ammo before venturing out into the wide, blood-stained yonder. You can play this game a few different ways. Solo, four-player co-op, eight-player versus mode, and four-player survival. Left 4 Dead was pretty great in single player, if you also looked at it as a survival of having terribly incompetent partners, seeing as how the AI really fell to pieces. In reality, the real gem of the title was contained in the four-player online co-op. Rarely did I ever play two players locally, because I never enjoyed sharing the screen with anyone. I understand and appreciate the addition of local multiplayer, and thank god they didn't try to cram four players onto one screen, but if I'm able to, I prefer to reserve the entirety of the screen for myself. Call me selfish, but it's all in the name of survival. Weapons are weighted well and available at the appropriate times, albeit breaking the fourth wall and feeling very deliberately placed. Coming across a weapon or ammo cache randomly didn't happen, but at least you could sometimes find med kits or pills if you went off exploring. My favorite weapon, and in a lot of first-person shooters I'm noticing, is the sniper rifle. I loved picking off zombies that are just hanging out, puking in a corner, or just leaning against a wall. It always made me laugh seeing them kicking back and relaxing before they go all 28 days later and start freaking out. How bad are you, man? How do I look? I have a massive confession to make. This game affects me, insanely. I shriek when I turn a corner and come face to face with a zombie, I cry out unintelligible commands to my teammates. Overall, this game has proven one thing to me. I would be the first to die after a zombie outbreak. I would be taken down by Patient Zero. Not to mention, without fail, after playing Left 4 Dead, I experience nightmares where I'm fighting hordes of zombies. It doesn't sound so bad, but I wake up in a panic and arm myself with the nearest item, which is usually a cat. So I'm trying to say that the game is successful. It puts the fear of zombie in me and provides hours of spectacular gore with loads of replayability. It's a piece of awesome development work. The musical cues are very, very well done, the lighting is terrifying, and the environment design almost makes you forget that this isn't an open world game. I know that Valve received a lot of flack for what happened between Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. A good deal of the promises we heard back in 2008 about the plans Valve had to expand this game and make it bigger and better were stifled on the 360 in a fashion that became par for the course. I love this game. I love the co-op. I love how I can sit down and count on a whole campaign taking me around 45 minutes to an hour. I could count on this game to consistently be fun and crush-worthy, and then Versus Mode brought it to a whole new level of awesomeness. After blowing away zombies trying to reach the 53,595 kill count, it was a nice change of pace to actually be a zombie. Seeing the levels from a different perspective and taking into account a whole new method of attack kept Left 4 Dead refreshing. You obviously have lower health as a special zombie, but you always respawn after death. Randomly, you'll become the tank, and I guarantee if you don't do well in this awesome position of power, you will never hear the end of it. If you like feeling terrified or working in a team, this is definitely the game for you. You can nab Left 4 Dead through Steam or the 360, and I own it for both. Well, I guess if you didn't like this review, take solace in the fact that I will be plagued with nightmares as a result of recording. 